Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. So Gemini, this reading will be for you if you have any Gemini placements or if you're dealing with a Gemini. So we're going to see what comes up for you today, guys. All right. Um, I'm going to get two angel number messages from this book as opposed to the cards today. Um, before I forget, um, I'm now doing personal readings again. It's been about two months since I last did personal readings. So, all right. So if you've had a personal reading with me before you know how it goes if not just email me all the information's in the description okay guys without further ado let's get into your reading let's get your i want, I want to get two messages today so first message for you gemini is 444 four, four. protective magic let's see i don't think i've read this one before oh gemini your prayers are heard this number assures that you assures you that you are being heard your angels are guiding you surrounding you and answering your prayers of protection it may be a time of struggle but you are being led into the light by your guardians take a moment to thank your angels for the protective presence in your life okay 444 protective magic some of you guys may be practicing certain things or burning certain incense or you know um uh sage stuff like that or just praying like anything or just simply just thinking things okay but um just to let you know some of you guys we've all been there we were like can you hear me is is it working and please believe me it does work it it, it really does work and many of you know that all right second message for you gemini today is that's weird that is weird i love i love how the messages even in my previous reading just then for taurus i just did two messages for them and they were very much aligned your one is 587 affirmations words make a difference this creepy love it anyways you have the power to turn your current perspective around with positive affirmations. Your angels encourage you to live in reality, but to also see the sides of things that are less appreciated. Start with a daily affirmation, I am love. Okay? And increase the list of what you specifically love about yourself as needed okay so no no talking yourself down or making little jokes about yourself none of that um sometimes it is funny i think like we all do it here and there but just be extra mindful okay um because you are creating your reality with your thoughts with your words okay all right okay gemini let's get into your reading let's start with the original rider weight what can you tell me about Gemini, please, from now to the end of May? Happy birthday, Gemini. Is it your birthday yet? Oh, is it? Oh, what is it? The 20? Happy pre-birthday? I don't know if it's Gemini season yet. If it's not, happy birthday in advance, Gemini, okay? Um, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. what's coming up from now temperance healing peace the king of cups oh some of you guys there could be this could be you loving yourself this could be what the angel numbers were speaking about just and about you love you know affirmations and stuff like that okay some of you guys there could be healing between you and a love interest could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio could be sagittarius doesn't have to be okay tell me all please so we have the seven of pentacles. So that's investing in yourself, investing in the situation. We've got the high priestess. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces. I want to know more about the, the page of pentacles. Why do I feel... Why do I feel like there's something that you really want to... Something that you're keeping private, something that you're keeping to yourself or very little people know about. Now, this could be certain thoughts that you have in a certain, maybe um, something that you have going on in your life right now. 
Gemini. Could have to, it could be about around um in a page of pentacles there, it could be around a child, it could be about certain information. Tell me now, please. The ace of pentacles. Are you some of you guys are trying to do something to something in your life is changing. Something in your life is going to change. What's we'll it around? The six of pentacles. So some of you guys is regarding um First of all, I want to say money, but yes, money, definitely. But I want to say also where you're putting your money, how you're managing your money. You're prioritising things differently. Tell me more, please. We've got the Ten of Cups. Yeah, some of you guys about your family. Oh, some of you guys, are. Um, if for those who have children, grandchildren, nieces and nephews, let's just say for those who have a child in their life who is very important to you child children in your life that's very important to you so if you guys are thinking about um starting something for them it could be a savings account it could be uh is it a trust or something like that something where you can give them um you know they can have something when they're older or have something to go towards something education a car a home okay trips something like that um That's nice. Um, for those of you, I guess, who don't have children, some of you guys, it could be you investing more in your family, okay? Or helping out family members as well. For some of you guys, it could also be a family member helping you out. Knight of Swords. Why? Seven of Cups. All right, there's this conversation that you're having with somebody um, and it's trying to get, you're trying to get to the bottom of something. You, them, you, there's, you're having this conversation with somebody and trying to get to the bottom of something because it's like you need to see straight, you need, you need a second opinion. And I will say this, Gemini, sometimes we do need a second opinion. Sometimes we need a third opinion. Sometimes, um, I feel like in this situation, a second opinion would be very, like, it will be beneficial you know some things is like yes trust your intuition sometimes we're in our head so much we need that outside voice that other, other person to say that thing out loud that maybe we knew or you know or maybe we didn't know but i feel like speaking to somebody about a situation that's been bothering you that's been playing on your mind that's been causing confusion you may be i do feel like it will be for this with this particular thing it will be um it will benefit you um opening up about it okay speaking about it and then um finding a, a certain outcome okay all right okay um anything else for gemini the queen of pentacles so if you guys are regarding your work your career your money your workload the will of fortune. Yeah, you're trying to make th things happen. Think good things are happening. King of Pentacles. Yeah, King of Pentacles. I'm going to say this, Gemini. Your money, I wouldn't worry about money. I'm not saying don't think about money. I ain't saying don't do nothing to make money. I'm just saying I wouldn't worry. You, Some of you guys, that I want to say your money is going to improve. Why? Why? How? judgment do you know what that, that makes me feel like some of you guys are doing something different like you're noticing something this is the way i see this is you reflecting on something and like do you know what that's not working so well or maybe if i did this at that time or maybe if i brought this person in whatever your work dynamic is yeah maybe if i went for this position maybe if i went um start something new maybe if i went back to that place whatever it is for you i feel like you're really there ob observing and really reflecting okay on things to do with your work career some of you guys you maybe you're in education and looking into go to looking into getting into a new a field of work okay and how you can do things better tell me more please the lovers some of you guys it could be um, a relationship that's kind of um, 
um, making you make uh, really reflect on this. Could be a fellow Gemini for some of you guys. Seven of Swords. Why Seven of Swords? That come out in Taurus is one creepy. As soon as you guys are dealing with Taurus, the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, okay, thank you. For some of you guys, there could be a, a love situation. Not for all of you now, but for some of you guys, you can take the message before. But for some of you guys, there's a situation, a love situation, where it hasn't gone the way you would have liked it to have gone, okay? Maybe you guys split up, maybe you found out something, yeah? But things have slowed down with you and that person, with you and that situation, yeah? And maybe that's why it's like, okay, maybe I've got more time. Maybe I'm looking at myself differently now. You're wanting change. Change is happening. I'm going to say this now. Whatever happened to that relationship, it's happened so that you can really take time to look at um, things to do within yourself. Okay, what are the projects that you're doing? It's something to better yourself. I'm going to say this now. And if you're in, if you're in a happy relationship, that's amazing. This message probably isn't for you. It's probably for the other ones that, that resonated with what I just said, yeah? I want to say, take this time to focus on you and to better yourself, okay? And we there's always room for improvement for all of us, okay? All of us. All right. Um, last two messages, and then I'll look at a love reading for you, okay? So we've got the Page of Swords. Some That person's watching you. Whoever you're, whoever's not, around you you're not speaking to you like that they are watching you they're checking out your social media they check it if you've blocked them they check it to see if um if you've messaged them if they've messaged you like if they message you they're looking to see if you've messaged them they've reached out they're probably looking on social media if you have that okay you've got three of pentacles why yeah okay so this person feels like you're dealing with somebody else okay three of pentacles and there's seven of ones this person feels like whoever you're not talking to they feel like they're somebody else they feel like you're blocking them because there's, an, there's a third party they, there's somebody else that you're um entertaining is that true the sun some of you guys are just happy that ooh. some of you guys are just happy that you're um not oh okay i just saw somebody with like you know when there's when someone chooses to be under the clouds and it's raining and pouring and the sun's right there like some of you guys are like i'm choosing happiness i'm choosing i'm choosing me i'm choosing peace i'm choosing joy i'm, I'm not choosing misery and darkness and wet and cold and fever and then okay i went too far why am i saying that somebody could have just recovered from a cold or the flu or something but um with the sun there someone's just like no i feel better not talking to you i feel like at peace and you know what the temperance was the first card that you got all right um i'm curious two more cards the king of wands and the queen of wands matching pair attraction still strong if you are done with that person, you may meet somebody who you really are truly attracted to. The chemistry is fire, okay? Literally matching, matching pair, okay? All right, let's do... you. I love reading Gemini. If you haven't already, please press the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done already. And let's do you... I love reading Gemini. Let's do you... I love reading... Gemini, what's going on in Gemini's love life from now to the end of May, please? What's going on with Gemini from the from from the now, you know? The now, from now to the end of May. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Something, something's happened for a reason, and it's we're going in your favor, guys. We've got the star. A wish come true, okay? Some some of you guys could be connecting with the Aquarius, don't have to be. But with the Wheel of Fortune and a star, that's a very nice combination there. That's almost like a jackpot, 
okay so whatever it is that you've been wanting i wouldn't be surprised if it happens or if it's in the midst, midst of happening from now to the end of may okay now it could be let me look now let me see tell me more about that situation please tell me more about that situation we've got the nine of cups again you're going to be feeling really good within yourself. Some of you guys, it's because your birthday month and you're just soaking up all that, you know. Happy birthdays and I love you and I pre You can be soaking up those things, but I, I ask about love. So this could be many things. This could be hearing from a certain person, okay, staying with a certain person. Um, this could be things improving with a certain situation. Oh, I need to put that card back. We've got the Hierophant. Yep, relationship. Gemini. I wouldn't be surprised if... So it depends if you're in a relationship now. It's saying that that's going to continue. If you are a, um, if you are a Gemini that is speaking to someone, dating, you may come across somebody that is... That um, is, is a bit of you. Someone that... I'm saying English sayings and I've got to be mindful everyone is watching from different parts of the world. So, someone that you're very attracted to, yeah? English people are probably laughing at me like, girl, really? Um, yeah. Um, someone that you're very attracted to, yeah? Um, there's possibilities for a relationship there, for a deeper connection, I want to say, yeah? Possibly, some of you guys, you may get engaged. Marriage might be on the cards for some of you guys, for some of you guys yeah? We have the two of wands. I gotta say that, yeah. I love how I can do that and I can I can see what card it is. I know my cards. I know my cards. I'm proud of that, you know. Anyone that's learnt tar learnt tarot, there's seventy eight cards here, you know. Just 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 I know you, most of you guys know that, but yeah. I know my cards. Anyways. So yeah, life something this is looking good to me. Like I any Gemini, any Gemini that's resonating with this, well, actually, you've got, some of you guys got to wait. Depends, it depends on your timeline as well. Some of you guys this is happening to and you're like, yep, this has been happening to me. I've connected with somebody or something that I've been wanting relationship-wise has come about and I'm feeling good about it. This is something different. This is all, this is something I wanted, you know. Um, things are changing for you. Things are looking really, really, really good. Anything else you could tell me for Gemini, please, in regards to love? Ooh, the Ace of Wands. Some of you guys are going to be... Um, so, some of you guys, your sex life will improve. Some of you guys, there'll be more sex. Some of you guys, there's going to be more, more whatever it is that you want, yeah? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Some of you guys could be a fire sign. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've got um, Taurus here as well. We've got uh, Aquarius. We've got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Pisces, High Priestess. Some of you guys, it could be with a Pisces. Some of you guys, it's something that's secret here. Something maybe a bit... Ooh. Some... I don't, Nineties, eighties, babies. Let me know if you know this song. Yeah, that you know the. I was into R and B, slow, uh, slow jams, all that stuff. Yeah, you see that combination. You see that Ace of Wands and the High Priestess. Yeah, it reminds me of that song, Undercover Lover. Now I hope it ain't. That that was a situation ship going on right there. That was the proper situation ship song anthem. Okay, let's just put it out there, but. Some of you guys, it may be like, let's see where it goes between me and you before we announce that we're in together. It could be as simple as that. All right, so don't freak out. Okay. But the Ace of Wands, the High Priestess, yeah, it made me think of that song, Undercover Lover. That was a tune. Let me, I'm going to throw this out there. The songs that we used to sing, the slow jams, toxic as hell. Some of those things, I'm like, wow, like... No wonder half of us love the way we do now. Yeah, like, it's given us issues. But anyway, it's keeping moving. Tell me more, please. 
we have the two of cups. It might be that good that you might fall in love. They might fall in love. You're going to be feeling very good about many different things. Yeah, let's just say from that from now, probably going into some of you guys are May Gemini, some of you guys are June Gemini's. Some of my best friends are Gemini's, you know. Some of my best friends. Um, two in particular, two in particular. Um, anyways, what else? Yeah, there's love on the cards, literally. Love on the cards, soulmate. Who is this person to you? Let's find out about this person. Tell me about this person who's coming out in Gemini's reading and making them feel so good. The Queen of Wands, well, they look good. They make, okay, someone that you're very attracted to. Okay, they could be a fire sign. They could be someone that's very energetic, bubbly. Okay, very confident. Someone who's outgoing. Okay, someone who's quite, um, I want to say enthusiastic about life. Yeah, positive attitude, yeah? Don't have to be a fire sign. Tell me more about this individual, please. We've got the Three of Cups. Well, they've celebrated something recently. So if it's... A, um, so if you guys could be an Aries, because there's a fire sign then, that was the last fire sign that would... <sighs> that was the last sign that would pass. That was a fire sign, okay? Okay? That was hard to say. I had to find the words. Anyways, um, tell me more about that Three of Cups, though. The Six of Wands. Ooh. This is the kind of person that will give you a lot of attention and make you feel good, okay? They want to do things with you. They, ooh, this, no, no wonder you're feeling good, Gemini. This is somebody that wants to spend time with you. They, they hype you up. Yeah, they build your confidence up. I like this person. Oh, Gemini. I, so let me not even say that. Okay, everyone's a different place. So some of you guys might be like, I'm not oh, dating right. Some of you guys that might be in a situation where you're not dating right now. But you're like, let me see what Gigi says just to see what. Yeah. So, you know, it's up to you guys. Yeah, it's up to you. You know, but it is a love reading. So, yeah. Um. Anyways. Could be a Leo as well for some of you guys. Don't have to be. Check the last Leo reading that I did. Check the last Leo reading that I did. I forgot what I was wearing. Um, we got the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's really willing to work on this. This is this person's also a hard worker. They're a hard worker. They could be studying. They could be um, really into whatever they do. Okay, like. You know, some people just, they work, but they don't really care about that work. Like, you know, we've all been there, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, I know I definitely have. Well, I just didn't give a damn about the job that I was doing, but I was doing it because it paid. Okay. Okay. We all, yeah. But whoever this is, they're into what they do, which probably you appreciate Gemini as well, because it's, it's attractive, isn't it? When someone's like, they're, they're fond of what they do. Yeah. Could be something they've created as well. We've got the Emperor, we've got Aries energy there. They could be the boss, they could be, um, they, yeah, they could own a business, they could be try it like starting up a business, something like that. Okay. Oh, I just got someone could be studying business studies as well. Business, business admin. I'm saying business admin because he's there with a the book. Technically, I think if. I reckon if the Eight of Pentacles, if that was an updated version, that would probably be a laptop or, or laptop, a tablet, a computer, yeah? A PC, whatever, yeah? Not a script, not a, yeah? With a fountain pen. Anyways, ink pen. Um, yeah, someone could be doing business studies or something like that. Um, Pager cups. Someone could have a child. Someone could have a child as well or work with children. We've got the lovers. Yeah, the lovers. The 
that combination right there i would say if you are somewhat i'd be wary of pregnancies some of you guys are like too late i'm pregnant or too late they're pregnant or or that's okay so if that's the case someone's very fertile okay so the combination of these cards the empress card hasn't come out but the combination of those cards is giving i'm about to make a baby or a baby can come out of this year i'll tell you anyway ace of wands the high priestess two of cups page of cups the lovers okay um the empress comes out has the empress come out yet no but um the ace of wands the lovers that's that's what makes a baby just saying anyways um <laughs> all right okay let's 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 wrap this up any last message for gemini please before about this person how they feel about gemini seven of swords they've why do they feel the seven of swords the death card they're wondering if there's something that you've fully left alone gemini they feel like if you're if you're fully involved did i say that before might have been in the, in the pre in the previous reading the first reading that i did uh the different cards the seven of swords and the death card someone is right but they're happy with you though five of pentacles yeah somebody wants to know if you are dealing with talking to someone dealing with them if you you know what's sorry if you've let this person out five of pentacles yeah out in the cold they want to know that okay they still do wonder why do they wonder the knight of wands Ooh, what did you gemini i'm not trying to fall out with you guys yeah i'm just gonna keep it light yeah but they may some of you guys may be so carefree or some of you guys may come across as flirtatious or there's something that happened or was said or whatever um what that may make them feel at times or right now that you like have you let this person go or are you still in contact with them yeah just saying don't shoot the messenger okay last message four of wands for some of you guys, it was somebody that you was married to in a long-term relationship. You had children with, or there were children involved, okay? Could be that individual if you're wondering who it is. Some of you guys, you know full well because you, you they've asked you directly, yeah? Some of you guys, is about a Leo. It doesn't have to be. We've got Scorpio, Aquarius, yeah? Um, Sag. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed your reading. I enjoyed doing it. Um... Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Also, I am doing personal readings. Um, if you've booked a reading with me before, just do the process. You know, you know how it goes, yeah? And I'll email you back, let you know that I've received everything and all that stuff, yeah? All right, I love you guys. Have an amazing week and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.